Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot. Hope you enjoyed your May monthly readings and as promised, I'm back with your you and yours reading for the week of uh, 11th to the 17th of May. Dear God, Goddesses, Angels, Spirit Guides, please bless this reading for Sagittarius and Send us a message we need to hear most for them and the person who's, who's on their mind. Thank you. So Sagittarians, I'm going to lay out two sides. One could be yours and the, the others, uh, you know, you'll have to use your own discernment to see which side you fit on. So let's begin. One. Please know these are general readings. Huh? They can't resonate with each and every Sagittarian out there. So I hope some of it works for you. If you want a personal reading, you can also reach out to me at omkara at gmail.com. So let's see what we have now. Ace of Coins. King of Cups in reverse. The Emperor in Reverse, Five of Cups in Reverse, Wheel of Fortune, and Ace of Swords in Reverse. And the other side we have the Nine of Wands in Reverse, Five of Swords in Reverse, Two of Swords, the High Priest, also, uh, Ten of Swords, and the Page of Wands in Reverse. And for your collective energy, I have the Two of Coins in Reverse, Four of Coins, and the Temperance in Reverse. So Sagittarius, what's going on? Let's see. So Sagittarians, very interesting reading I have here before me. This really doesn't seem like a love reading. This could be between two business partners. It could be between two siblings. It could be, this seems very money related to me uh, from what I can see. But yes, it could be between, you know, a relationship, it could be a husband, wife, could be anything. So see how it resonates for you. I'm, go I'm going to be reading this side as the other person and this side as your Sagittarius. So it could it could be vice versa. So please use it the way you know you want. From what I see, a general view that I see here is one person. This is the other person, for, according to me. You you can shift, shift you know change it around. Really wanted a new beginning with you. Really wanted a new beginning with you, but at the moment has gone into hermit mode. Is thinking of whether this partnership is going to work out feeling very very overburdened and wants to is feeling like I have to get rid of whatever is burdening me now because whatever they wanted from the other person they feel was not brought to the table equally somebody was not you know strong enough in the uh, you know dynamic there was no equal part, you know, give and take, even though I, I don't have the Six of Cups here. But this is how it feels. I have the King of Cups in reverse. I have the Emperor in reverse. And this person wanting a fresh, brand new start is feeling uh, a little sad as to how things didn't work out. Yes, really wanted a brand new beginning with you. But right now is feeling overburdened wanting to release all the stress and worry, wanting this Wheel of Fortune. This really seems like a money money reading to me. Really, really seems like a money reading to me. But right now, they, they don't see anything you know, going forward. Wanting it. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Okay. They're trying to keep strong during whatever's happening. They don't find any joy and happiness definitely in this situation. They feel that the offer they wanted is not, you know, to their liking. And because of that, there is no, you know, fresh new start, uh, no clear cut new beginning happening between the two of you. Now, very interestingly, the person on this side, 
knows this. So what they are do- they are feeling is a bit embarrassed. They're feeling embarrassed at what uh, you know they are not being able to bring to the table. They are try- just trying to keep their head down at the moment. They feel uh, they also know that there is no growth. Uh, I did I mention at the bottom of the ca- deck that I shuffled? I also had the Queen of pe- uh, co- Pentacles. So there is some somebody this side or that side, the feminine en- energy. who is quite well off has you know all her money and home hearth I- intact but this person feels that it's not being shared with them they feel entitled definitely this empress also sometimes represents a mother figure so this person here comes you know across as feeling uh, almost like a child energy so this could be a family issue from what i see so they feel that they are embarrassed at what uh, you know what is happening they are trying not to draw any attention to themselves they are also not being able to make any decision though they feel a sense of commitment definitely to the other person but they are not happy either they are not happy about what's happening or they nine of cups this way means uh, you know when it's upright it means to a lot of satisfaction and happiness and but when it's overturned it could also in some cases okay one way to interpret this card would be not feeling happy the other way could be also be too much drinking okay too much drinking too much uh, you know wallowing in self pity yet feeling a sense of responsibility and commitment also but feeling totally defeated at the moment feeling totally defeating and feeling that you know they 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 are not being nurtured and nourished as they feel entitled they should be they are still looking towards this other person they want they are seeing as to what else is out there maybe to see what else is out there where they can find this kind of satisfaction which they're not getting from this person so both parties seem dissatisfied at the moment and i have to be honest sagittarius i'm not going to give you know honey and sugar readings i have to i have to speak of the cards as i you know as they come out both now okay now right now in your in your collective energy for both of you how you're aligning uh the two of coins in reverse and the seven of wands both of you are being defensive both of you actually want to make a decision which suits them each one wants the each one wants to be on the higher ground here that's the problem here both of you are holding on to what you have or what how you feel is the best way or not wanting to share whatever resources you have both of you this is the collective energy of both of you so each one is holding on to what they have not willing to share which is bringing a lot of imbalance in this relationship a lot of imbalance both of you are feeling that you don't want to work uh towards this relationship at the moment maybe because of money issues you both feel that the other person is not working hard enough or not bringing enough to the table lot of uh, coins and pentacles in this table and lot of you know distrust and unhappiness too and both feeling entitled as well both feeling committed to the other person and feeling this one is feeling this you know the other person is not bringing enough this person feels i'm entitled but i'm not getting enough from the other person take one more card for the temperance in uh, reverse one more in there somebody in this equation wants to bring forth this week a message of you know reconciliation reconciliation of love uh, let's try and work together let's try and bring you know balance in the situation right till now till now see look at this woman she's uh, she's in reverse this is the temperance card of balance Uh, there has been no balance till now but this week there is a possibility of, that one of you will you know take 
uh, a message or uh, a cup full of love to the other and try and bring this yes and they were i mean both of you now this is a collective energy both of you i think want to bring balance to the situation this week both of you have been feeling totally stressed out about you know both of you trying to keep your emotions or pentacles money whatever you guys are holding from each other you both want to release that stress that you're having about it let's take a card from the angels to see what they can bless you with in this week do subscribe like share this reading if you liked it i know this is a difficult reading but uh, this is what is there i hope it can help somebody there out there so what is the message we can give sagittarius or the cross watcher who's here today to have a peaceful week without conflict enjoy your time with each other instead of being so defensive and you know fighting against each other try and bring some justice some peace some love towards this uh i'm just going to pick up these cards yes the way to bring justice is to take up you know a little bit of love to the other person and have some happy movement uh, move moments with them it's time to lay down whatever you know the, the defensive energy that you have or the embarrassment that you feel or the expectations that you feel life is short if you people know that you belong to each other you do on both ends i see you both feel committed to each other but both holding on to you know your side of the story and complaining and cribbing let's take one more card from the angels lead the way sagittarius one of you has to you know get up and bring this cup of love to bring peace into the situation i hope this reading works sagittarius do leave a comment if it does and if not i'll see you next week with a brand new reading love and light take care